Dread. Dread is a 4-1 with shard and lifesteal and overwhelm. And pledge. Wow, it's got a lot of abilities. And if it dies, you get a thing. Whoa. Crest of wisdom, crest of progress, crest of time. Wait. No, this is this is the deck. Good, good, good. Oh, so we're playing a weird Talir control deck. Something that we've been fiddling around with a little bit. The idea is that we want to take turns with Talir. So we're going to do what we can to take turns with Talir. Um, hmm. A couple of ways I can play this. I'd like to establish Recon Tower right away, but I don't have to. And it might be in my best interest not to. Talir's a little early yet. I need primal sources. I've got an Elysian banner. Tell me, what do you see? And I know I'm not going to draw a power next turn, so I need to trade for one. That means getting rid of a Desert Marshal or an Unseal. I'm going to go with the Unseal. Grab the Elysian banner. Play the Recon Tower. And maybe the Wisdom as well. Or we could just play Explorer Emeritus. No, this works out. I can silence some things that are bothersome. A lot of Huru going around right now. I wonder what that's about. Two possible choices. I think I'm going to go with the one where I silence that and just block it. Could be a finest hour, could be other things. If I recon tower for a justice, he's got to be pretty scared of me harsh ruling. I definitely want to play power every turn, so it's correct to recon tower here, even though it means I can't long live the queen, which I would dearly like to do. Hmm. Orc Runehammer is very bad for me. Like, I don't have a lot of cards that can deal with it right now. Eventually, recon tower will become a guard tower, and I can just mash everything, but until that happens... The best I can do is play power, play hailstorm, get wrecked, and then try again. Which, not the end of the world, but yeah, it does hurt. Trust in your skills. Okay, so Crest of Order here allows me to dig for a card that helps me. Unseal is not that card, but it's interesting. Uh, Long Live the Queen. Probably not the card I'm looking for either. I think we hold tight here, we see if he casts a spell, and we Wisdom of the Elders. I could have recon towered immediately. Wouldn't have been awful. What else do we have? Justice, play the Justice, kill the Orc Rune Hammer, and then we're into like explorers.
Marshall Anthorn looks great. Oh, I should have sought first. Whoops. No, now I can't counterspell correctly. Okay, it's fine. We got there. I'm still going to face down some permafrost problems, which could be pretty bad. Um, okay, yeah, I'll take this. Looks like he might be going for finest hour instead of permafrost. I'm totally down for that. Okay, that's a very important stabilization point for us. That's not great, but at least we can kill it. Do I play Explorer here? It's a pretty tricky spot. I think we Desert Marshal the 2-3. Just call it good. I'm okay with going to eight. How about instead of you drawing two cards, I draw a card. I think that would be better for all of us. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, now Explorer looks really good. Combray Healer heals it. And Seek Power gets me a power that I can use to play Unseal. Or Scorpion Wasp, whatever feels better. Yeah, I don't know. It's been pretty busy, Clace. Like, I don't, I don't know if there's like a huge amount of drop farmers at this point. We started with 2,000, so quite a few people have filled it out. It's not insane, at least. Okay. Oh, the Sheriff Marley tribute comes into play. Womp womp. Peace is its own reward. Ah well, we still got a blocker. Uh choo. Might as well pop the Aegis off of that. I have a lot of power right now. Still need a merchant. Do I play Crystal and Chalice? No. Um, our deck doesn't have enough little units to support it, really. There's quite a few, but it's probably not super worth it. It's way too slow for me. I don't mind it, but it means that I can't put counter spells up all the time, which is what I want to do. Nah. I don't know, I guess Unseal was a little bit too speculative there. That does put me in range of, like, I can't counterspell with Longlive the Queen now. So Unseal was a little tricky there. Anyways. Want to cross block on the right. Keep the Steadfast Deputies off my butt. This does trigger tributes like Sheriff Marley, but it doesn't really matter. I feel like he was angling for that tribute, even though I already was silenced. Not sure if there was a lot of value in that. Peace is its own reward. Talir, I will definitely play. We have another Scorpion Wasp. We can keep the Steadfast Deputies at bay for a while. I've got the Island's Choice in the Long of the Queen, and I want to save those to save Talir from any troubles. Peace is its own reward. Talir! So many Let's do a thing. We're not going to use our tower because that allows us to stockpile some power. And also allows us to counterspell. When 
gun's not that vague. We actually generally get there. It is a control win con, but it's there. Okay, that's unfortunate, but at least we drew the card. Like, the idea behind... It, this is a very magic-y control deck, which is to say it has very, very few actual win cons. Like, we don't, we don't have multiples. But... That's because our deck is just, like, chock full of stuff that keeps them under control until we get the one con, which there are a few. Except that. Crest of Order organizes some draws. Aurelian Merchant fetches New Tomorrow, Temporal Distortion. Couple of choices. Passage is fine, Scorpion Wasp is fine, Distortion is fast. Like, distortion gives me the most options, but I just don't have anything card draw wise. So it's a little tough to grab it. If I grab Passage right now, I have him locked down for a while. But I can also just Island's Choice this 4 4. You don't want to make my allies your enemies. Yeah. I think I I think I'm gonna new tomorrow as opposed to using temporal distortion. We must rebuild. Seems like the best way to get myself to Talir again. And also to get cards like Long of the Queen off the top. Camp Merchant here. I take a Wisdom. Yeah, just straight card draw is actually my best top deck. That and Long of the Queen, but we're not currently dying to channel the Tempest, I don't think. He could suddenly play a channel the Tempest and get me into a lot of trouble. Oh, what's that gonna be? So much Huru right now. I wonder if it's like a response to the aggro? We have gotten to play a new tomorrow a lot today. Okay. Seems reasonable. Not my favorite draw ever, but I'm just gonna draw gas every turn now, so. You've run far Judgment has come. We should theoretically win this matchup. <laughs> You still got two cards left. I've got more. Uh, that's not good. I really. Let's see. What can we do here? That's probably the best card I could have drawn. Yes. Yes. Definitely. All right, we're back to stable. Of 
cards drawn. You don't want to make my allies your enemies. Island's choice was a success. You got anything else to play? Wisdom of the Elders? I would love to see another wisdom. So if I long live the queen with wisdom off the top, that's gonna put me in a much better position than just drawing long live the queen. Damn it. Yeah, we're in some trouble now. Channel the Tempest. You will suffer for what you have done. Oh, that's bad. Fetch is a serious ouch right now. My treasure, the dragon's eye. Merchant gets wasp. That keeps me alive a little longer. go. Get in there. How about instead of you drawing two cards, I draw a card. Combra healer's pretty solid. Don't hate that. How many feast colors is he down? Three, right? He's got one more in the deck. There it is. Talir, that's our Talir. Good job, Talir. Uh, do I play it now? I think I have to. Same with Combray Healer. <laughs> Gotta give him something to pay attention to. Ouch. Don't have the simple counter spell for Vanquish. Is there another Svetcha here? That'd put me in a tough spot. Okay, same thing as last time, but no Svetcha. This is a real tight game. That might have been my stabilization point. I've got Explorer here. So I'm not dead on board. New Tomorrow's already cast. I've got 14 cards left in deck. <laughs> How many cards does he have left? 34. <laughs> my treasure, the dragon's eye. Two counter spells, good times. Do some damage to face because it's best. I think we get rid of Svetcha if we can. Before Svetcha starts like drawing. Elk Reinforcer is a problem. Okay, Svetcha is just gonna do drawing. Get some units. Try to flood the board. That's fine. For her people. Are we far enough behind that I should harsh roll? Or are we far enough ahead that I shouldn't? My treasure, the dragon's eye. God. Probably should have just held that. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit of ouch there. Yeah. 
Harsh rule would have been very bad for me. There's two Talirs left. Show me one of them, please. Oh my god, put that on the bottom where it belongs. Close your eyes. Listen. <laughs> Kill that. None of your nonsense. Uh-huh. No blocks there. It's got an unseal to save me from Vanquish. Don't think I want you drawing cards. I really want to save that unseal for like Vanquish though. Like this is rough. Trust in your skills. Okay. Hailstorm's pretty good. Kill Svetcha. So many possibilities. <laughs> oh my god, Talir, win this thing. <laughs> you will suffer for what you have done. That's fine. I don't need spells right now. You do get to lock me out of counter spells, though. Nope, oh, wait, nope, you just emptied your setup, so I think we win now? 14, 16. Should be good enough. Control wins. Funnily enough, I can't play any spells, like... If it weren't for Guard Tower, we would actually lose this game, I think? Because I can't play any spells, so I have <laughs> almost exact lethal. <laughs> Holy crud. <laughs> what a dumb game. <laughs>